meantime, uh, we want we had went out and talked to people about their opinions to hear what they had to say. Annette Montgomery has that story for you. Depends on who you're speaking to. For Republicans, not much has changed, even though one Republican voter tells me she was rooting for Biden over Harris, calling the VP way too liberal. But for undecided voters, that change hasn't come yet. They say that will come once they see Harris take the debate stage and give an idea of who she would pick as her VP. They don't share the same political party. I'm a conservative, also as a Democrat. I'm independent, I really am. But these voters share similar views about President Joe Biden's decision to drop out of the race. I'm sad that he's been so sick and nobody told us. They call it a good one, where their opinions differ. And I hope that we get this woman as president. That beats Trump, he's always in trouble. I'm, I'm hoping that she would, she's a strong woman and women should, should be there and I hope she picks a women vice president. Is on whether Vice President Kamala Harris should step up and in. It's hard to get a gauge on what she actually thinks and feels, and she's going to have an opportunity to show what she thinks and actually feels during debates, but historically speaking, she hasn't been great during those. It's months until November, but some have already made their decision. She's way too liberal for me, and on many levels, but no, I don't think, I don't think she's ready. It's good to see someone of color being on the ballot, and I'm always in support of any woman. Also, as a Democrat, I always have to vote for a Democrat as a woman. As a woman, Yahoo, our first woman president, and I like the fact that she's biracial, so uh, I'm delighted about that. I I'm a little nervous about how late it is. Others say they need some convincing, but Harris still has a chance at their vote. Just, just act like the adult in the room, and, and, and then that doesn't sound like a lot, but in this particular case, I think that that's the, the thing that you would have to do. So many different answers and opinions floated around Harris's VP pick, whether they would be more liberal than her or moderate. So seeing who she would pick as her VP and seeing her take the debate stage are the two things voters tell me will decide whether she has their vote. In downtown Fort Myers, Annette Montgomery, Wink News. Annette, thank you.